Okay, YouTubers, I'm gonna make a video on a new purchase I made. It came in this box. The exact supplier I'll have to let you know. I think I got it on eBay. But it's the uh, nine foot reach aluminum extension from Sun Joe spray wand. Uh, so you don't have to get up on a shaky ladder to use your um, spray system to spray the side of your house. It's the SPX-ESW4. came in this box with this some paper around it. And it has adapters. There's one adapter. The other adapter's down there, and I'm going to show you how to put it together. I have a Generac um, system. I'm working on the carburetor right now. Basically, I took the wand off of my Generac spray nozzle. And then we insert this first adapter. Which is threaded. And it has a special locking notches in it. You'll see how they work. Push that together. Screw this on. Then this piece goes in. It has these projections on it, which are going to fit into these grooves. You have to line it up in the slots. Push it in and see you can maybe you can see it turning how it's locked into place and it has this you can tighten down and it has extensions as many as you want and they just screw into this first piece they got a an o-ring on them to seal nice tight seal I'm outside in the wind so I apologize for that but I'm outside working on my sprayer trying to use it okay so we have these on now comes this last extension I first thought this was some kind of a spray nozzle but no it's just like the other piece that has notches in it that we're going to lock into so it's got a an o-ring on it also and you just screw it in and here's the last adapter I learned how to do this by watching the video on And look for the website here. Uh, so you can look at it on snowjoe.com or yeah, snowjoe.com. And because there are no instructions in this box at all, and there's a picture on the outside, shows you how the pieces go together somewhat, but they don't really show the extensions being used. So they have a nice video on there on that website that shows you how these go together. So anyway. This again is going to be inserted. It's got a, an O-ring on it and these protrusions that are going to lock into here. It's got grooves, so you have to make sure you insert it correctly and push push it down pretty hard. And lock it in. 
and then it has the connection on the end with no ring to go into your wand. Push the wand in. It's got a quick connect, quick disconnect. Locks in place like that nicely. And there's the entire extension of course you can vary this extension to what you want but it gives you they say nine feet um, and you can see it's a nice extension I'm gonna have to consider probably getting a, a belt to hold this thing with because it's a little heavy now this aluminum so it could be worse and you got a, a grip point right here to hold it on so I'll uh, make a video later when I'm actually using it but this is the way it goes together and um, now it's aluminum so you know I don't know if you'd want to use this for commercial use or not whether it would hold up but for the price I got it for 12 about $13 and about ten dollars shipping and I'll leave the address and more information on that for you so I've used it sparingly so far because I'm having trouble getting my uh, washer started after two years so uh, this is old John getting ready to sign off if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe Harrison 4803 have lots of do-it-yourself videos and working on various things even computers if you're interested old john signing out